It was 1999, way back in the 20th century. I had this extraordinary opportunity that came up with books on tape, and they wanted me to find a bunch of great narrators and make a bunch of great audiobooks. And I said, sure. So there I was. It was my last day at Dove Audio. And I'm just hanging around because <clears throat> it's my last day. I got nothing to do. And I wandered into one of the studios, and there was this guy narrating a short story, I think. And he sounded really terrific. He sounded great. So I introduced myself. I said, hey, I'm Dan. I'm cutting out of here. I'm going to work for Books on Tape. We're going to build some studios. We're going to make some great stuff. Come join us. And he said, sure. My name's Scott. So you got to look at this from my point of view. Here I am going to work for a new company. My job is to find great narrators and make great audiobooks. And I show up with the unknown Scott Brick in my hip pocket. Now, I know Scott has told this story lots of times. But Scott, I needed you as much as you needed me. In fact, if we hadn't met that day, I'd have found you. Or you'd have found me. Depends how you look at it. 